metaphor of beauty. When will I be YouTube famous? I don't know. What I do know is that today I am doing a foundation review on the uh, what do they call this? The B Flawless Silk Foundation. I believe this is Superdrug's own range. Now, the question is, how well will this silk foundation fare on my oily combo skin? There's only one way to find out. You're going to need to watch this. Hey, welcome back from the intro. Right. I would have shown you this in the intro. This is the B Flawless Silk Foundation that I got from Superdrug. I believe this is Superdrug's own range, the B range. Um, on the back it says, create a healthy radiant look with B Flawless Silk Foundation. Long lasting, light to medium, buildable coverage with a lightweight feel, dermatologically approved. For best results, apply after your preferred B primer. Of course they're going to recommend their own primer. Blend from the centre of your nose outward to help even skin tone for a silky smooth finish. And I've got this in shade N1 or Neutral 1. You get 30 mils. It's a squeezy tube with a pump. And it says, pump me slowly. Insert your own joke here. I have got, as always, my Pokemon fan case with my Bulbasaur as my favourite Pokemon to squirt the foundation onto. Um, one side, I've actually got a fuzzy sponge to try. Ha ha! So I'm going to try a fuzzy sponge one side, and on the other side, I'll be using this is the BH Cosmetics number no. 4. Slanted Kabuki from the got it in a set something metals I think but yeah it came in a set and it sort of stands up on your work surface which you of course can't see hmm okay cool so pump me slowly Okay, so it's a bit of an intermittent pump, shall we say, but it does appear to have worked, so, you know, fair play. The consistency is quite runny. Cool. Face has been washed, moisturised, primed, SPF'd and primed. I used my usual... Uh, antiperspirant primer. The link for the film telling you more about that is in the description box below. So I'm just gonna let's zoom you in. That might make more sense mightn't it so you can actually see my face. There we go. I hate it when beauty gurus do that. And I go, I'm just gonna zoom you in and they're still like 16 miles from the camera. Yes Tarty Hilarious I'm talking about you. Yes, I just poked myself up the nose with my finger. Fabulous. So, I've dotted this a little bit. And let's just start with the butt end of the sponge. And let's get blending. Now this is, it says it's a light to medium and it says, um, silk so I'm not expecting this to last more than about five or six hours on my skin I have to be honest because oily combo skin doesn't like luminous or silky foundations which is a shame because as you get older matte foundations are not necessarily your friend but that's gone on quite nicely with this actually 
and yeah that's I definitely say that is I'd say that's light medium um, these fluffy sponges do tend to give you more coverage than an ordinary sponge does I have noticed that I tend to use these if I'm using a light to medium um, coverage foundation and it tends to give you medium straight away so you don't have to put too many layers on which again is awesome if you have fine lines to worry about so we're going to dot the same amount on this side of my face and see how it fares with the brush I mean some foundations bizarrely give you less coverage with a brush than with a sponge normally you will get more coverage on a brush application simply because the sponge does tend to soak more of the product up so if you have got a really really thick foundation and you want it just a little bit more sheer then use a sponge because normally that will shear the finish out seems to have gone on fairly evenly um, to me it looks like we've got about the same coverage at each side but I think I prefer the finish on the sponge side so I'm going to pick that up I'm going to dollop it in and just see how well this will build up now I'm not going to add much if any to my nose because we know that, that that's the part of my face that hates foundation and gets rid of it extremely quickly so I tend to do the rest of my face and then if I'm going to put a second layer on I'll use the absolute last dregs that are on the sponge. I put as little as possible on my actual nose. And I'm going to do the same thing this side and build up. It's going over itself quite nicely. Sometimes you'll find, particularly with um, silk foundations, that when you go to put the second layer on, it starts to lift up what's already started to dry down um, but that doesn't appear to be the case with this foundation at all this is going on really quite nicely if I'm honest which of course I always am honest to have fault me it's probably why I've not got a huge channel following at the moment because people don't like when you tell them the truth particularly if what you say disagrees with what their favourite booty guru says but you know what I don't mind being a smaller channel I feel like I can talk to you all I can I, can, I feel I kind of feel like you're sitting opposite me on the table at the kitchen while I'm kind of applying my makeup and it's nice having a chat with friends rather than addressing a conference hall full of people right okay um, so there's still some product left on there so I used well because the pump was playing about I probably used about one and a half two pumps to do that so I am gonna go off camera and I'm gonna finish putting on uh, my face so you know concealer bronzer blush highlight etc finish this eye look off lips and I will come back um, I'm just taking the excess off of the brush because whenever I use um, a liquid on a brush 
I always clean it off on a face cloth straight away because it makes you deep clean at the end of the week I damn so easy. It also means if I want to use it tomorrow it hasn't got any of today's product on it and it won't contaminate if I'm doing another foundation review. Right, okay. Uh, it is currently 10 o'clock. Well, three minutes past 10 actually, but we'll call that 10 o'clock. Uh, so we'll call 10 o'clock the check-in time. Uh, I normally do two check-ins. One round about the five hour mark and then one again anything from sort of eight to twelve hours depending on how my day goes when I can actually find time to sit down but it gives you a rough idea of how it's going to look halfway through your working day for example when you can then got time to go to the facilities and blot, add more powder, spray again etc and then one again at the end of the working day so it gives you a rough idea. Alright, instantly for you you're going to see this face totally finished. I've got some work to do. Hey, right, I'm back. Uh, it's half ten, so I was actually really quite quick at finishing my face off today. Go me. Um, bronzer is butter bronzer in shade bronzer because the light one is a tad orange, it has to be shared. Um, blush is the Aldi Lecura, what is it called? Gold blush. Basically, it's a dupe for Nars Orgasm, uh, but damn sight cheaper and cruelty free. Get in. Um, lips, oh, highlighter is one of my Becca ones, and it is Pearl Flashes Gold, which looks like that. It's basically a white base with uh, gold dual chrome. So. If you're cool tone and very pale like me, it's a gold you can actually wear, which is awesome. Mascara is the Catrice Glamondol Volume Mascara Waterproof that Nikki Raven from the Beauty YouTuber Growth Group uh, recommended. And it is a bang on dupe for Benefit Bad Girl Bang, but it's waterproof, which is great for my runny eyes. And it's a damn sight cheaper, so thank you so much. Lippy is one of my favourite bullet lipsticks. And I've got lipstick on my teeth. Awesome. That's the only problem with bullet lipsticks. I do tend to end up with them on my teeth, but that's just me. This is the Revolution Makeup or Makeup Revolution Renaissance range. And it's shade Greatest. I've gone through about four of these so far. And I love my liquid lipsticks, so that tells you an awful lot. Uh, eyes are Snow Angels, Dose of Colours. I have filmed it. I'm not sure whether this is going up before that one. Either way, keep an eye out for it. But we're talking about foundation. So far, well, after half an hour, I wouldn't expect it to be looking bad. But as you can see, everything's still looking absolutely fine. All of the powder products blended beautifully on top of it without any problem. There was no, oh my god, it's just grabbed a huge chunk of bronzer and now I've got to work like mad to blend it out. There was none of that. Went on absolutely fine. Um, as always, I've just set it with Coty Airspun, which is what I use when I'm doing all of my foundation reviews so that we've got sort of like, you know, the, the, the primer's the same, the setting powder's the same, so that we are really testing just the foundation. Um, concealer that I used today was the Too Faced Born This Way, the new one, uh, the multi-use sculpting super coverage one, um, as opposed to the more radiant one, which they've uh, also called Born This Way, which is very confusing, but there we go. Right, okay then, I will see you, well you're going to see me instantly, I will see you in a few hours time at the first check-in. Have fun. How can you have fun when it's going to be instant for you? What on earth am I talking about? I need to go and get myself another coffee, clearly. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey, time for the first check-in. It's three o'clock, so this has been on for five hours. So, let's have a zoom in, see how it's doing. Yes, I tied my hair up. I was getting a bit warm. So, 
One of the joys of fibro is that you have difficulty controlling your temperature. It's like having hot flashes before you're meant to have hot flashes. It's great. Preparing me for menopause. Fabulous. Right, let's get you zoomed in. For some reason I'm looking crooked in my viewfinder. I really hope I'm not absolutely wafty when I come to edit this. Um, actually, it's not settling in those fine lines there. Um, it's settled a little bit in this super deep one, but not, not horrifically. It's still moisturised under my eyes. I'm not starting to look alligatory or anything. I've still got, I've actually still got coverage on my nose, which is quite surprising. It's starting to split just here a little bit and cake. But... I've had matte foundations look worse than this at this stage. Um, lost a little bit there, but I have been rubbing my nose a bit today. Top lip still fine. Lipstick needs touching up. But never mind. I'll do that in a minute. Chin still looks ridiculously good. Uh, doesn't seem to be settling in those lines either. Still looking good along my jaw. All the powder products are still in place. Okay. Um, it's fair to say this is surprising me. This is I'm looking at myself and I feel like I should be like this to be up straight. I wonder if I am slightly crooked or if it's just me. I'm definitely sitting up straight. If I'm wafty, I apologise. I'll be editing this tomorrow, so I will hopefully be able to rectify before I start filming again. Um, this is really surprising me so far. For a, for a silk foundation, it's not breaking down very much at all. Just a little bit around my nose here. Um, were this not a foundation review, I would just blot my T-zone, pop a little bit more powder on, uh, re-mist with, I used the all-nighter. Um, mainly because they had a, sp a special offer on so I could get a little mini all-nighter for my handbag but because I really like the all-nighter spray so basically I'm gonna use this up and then keep this because my wet and wild primer water spray for some reason sprays off at an angle so I'm gonna once this is empty put that primer water in it which has got nothing to do with this foundation except as I said, if this weren't a review, I would be blotting, powdering, and re-spritzing myself. Um, but obviously, with it being a review, I don't do any of that. Uh, I, I am genuinely shocked. And I've not put my strip lights on. This is just natural daylight, so I've not got any kind of assistance so to speak because I know sometimes the LED lights can bounce off of the skin and make it not so easy to see when foundations are settling but this is literally I have not got my strip look if I put one on now see I have not got my strip light on at all so it's literally just daylight and I am really pleased with how this is looking if this if this holds up for at least another three hours if this holds for eight hours this could become one of my go-to foundations at the moment my go-to if I want to look good all day are either the uh, Too Faced Peach Perfect the Revlon Colour Stay for Oily Combo um, or where is it? Oh, I must have been tidy and put it back away again the CYO Life Proof is another good one as well but it will be awesome if this does actually last on my skin um, because as I said Matte foundations, once you've got 
fine lines it's not always your friend um, I might try mixing this with some of my heavier matte foundations like my Urban Decay All Nighter uh, like the Jouer one and just see whether adding this in will lengthen the time that this wears but stopping the matte one from looking too cakey on my skin mm. but so far I'm really liking this right I've got a few more hours to go before I see you again for the final check-in you're gonna see me in two shades of a gnat's tail do nuts have tails? Here I come. Hey, welcome back to the final check in. Okay, it is now just gone 8 o'clock. So this has actually been on for 10 hours. Let's have a zoom in, see how it's looking. Starting to settle in that line now and emphasising the line, it's looking a lot deeper, as is the Hulk, that's looking a little Grand Canyon ish. Under eyes are still not too bad actually. Still reasonably. Oh dear, excuse me. That's the problem when you've been up since quarter five. Uh, still reasonably hydrated. Lost a bit more coverage here. And on the end of my nose. Um, top lip's gone very splotchy. And it's starting to settle in and emphasise these lines here chin yeah it's it's splotchy but it's worn in a a reasonable way I mean it's you know this close up you can see it's not good but from a distance it's not too bad jawline still okay actually highlight and all that's still in place so on the drier sections of my face it's performed much better than obviously on my oily t-zone which is then expected now it only really started to really settle into these lines um, and really break down here and here mm. at about half six so it had done a good what is that eight and a half hours before it actually completely started to look scrappy to the point that if husband had said right we're popping out I would have taken it off and redone it so this has impressed me um, if you can hear that I think husband is filing his nails in the front room um, this has actually really impressed me. I'm going to try it again with some different primers underneath. Um, today I just used my antiperspirant primer. Um, I'll try it again with um, a mattifying primer. I'll try it with a pore filling primer um, and a more oil controlling primer just to see whether I can get any more than eight and a half hours out of it but considering that the majority of these start looking really scrappy around about the five six hour mark the fact this managed eight and a half effectively a full working day that's really impressive so if you have got combination skin oh so sorry that's my throat gurgling if you have got combination skin and you're looking for a more um, satin or silk effect foundation 
this is definitely worth picking up and trying, uh, especially because it's not that expensive either. So that's a definite one thumb up, tentative two thumbs up depending on oh, how it works with other primers. This is the problem, once you, once you give in and yawn the first time, it's a cascade of yawns. So, I hope you found this helpful. Um, if you did, it'd be great if you could hit that like button for me. Comment, share, subscribe. When you subscribe, don't forget to ring my bell. Ring my bell. And choose all notifications so that you get told every time that I upload another one of these videos. And, talking another one of these videos, I promise you I have got an awful lot of videos up where I don't end up yawning at you at the end of it. So why not pop over and check a few of those out. And once you've checked mine out, it'd be awesome if you could check out the girlies in the beauty YouTuber growth group. Uh, they produced some really, really good videos just recently and uh, it'd be a crime for you to miss them. Right, all that remains for me to say, as ever, is you'll stay fabulous and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.